Hi, and welcome to the Fabric Studio software. Today we're going to take a look at one of our CD libraries called Hobby Time, which is a combination of sports um, for hobbies and actual hobbies like scrapbooking and photography. So let's get started. Some of these graphics that we give you have both places for photos, multiple photos actually, and text. This is our golf and you can see what I did with it. I took one photo and I broke it into three sections. Um, I added each one to each um, circle. I added some text, happy hour, golfers gone wild, and I added the names of the girls to make this wonderful swatch of fabric. Next is our technology. This has lots of possibilities, so let's see what I did with it. On um, the computer, I added a name, but you could place a photo there. On the mail um, envelope, you got mail. On the disc, I added a photo, and you could even add some um, memo or notes on the memo pad. And even on the HTTP, you can put your favorite website there, too. Some of the images, um, you can just add some text to it. This is our sewing room. It comes in two other different colorations. And in this case, all I added was Perfect Stitches Grandma Sewing Room. You want to maybe add her name on the other side of the needle, that would be great. But what a great present for Grandma, or if Grandma wants to make it for herself, she can make curtains or an apron out of it. It's great. But this is one of my favorite ones, and this is the one I'm going to kind of go through a demonstration of how I constructed it. This is our um, bicycling um, graphic. There's four cycles. Um, there's a couple of places in the clouds to either add text or photos or both. So let's get started. Um, this is a team of girls who are cyclists, and um, I have them there. And we're going to show you a different way to do it. Now, because the cloud is a different shape, we're not going to be able to crop that. So this is how it works. You're going to take your photo. Make sure, again, it's a pretty small photo because that's a tiny little area. We're going to copy it. We're going to go over here, and we're going to add to our next image. We're going to add a layer, and then we're going to paste that photo into our layer. I'm going to con try to move it and make sure I cover all that area, and it's not completely covered, so I'm going to take my shift key and drag out the edge till I've totally covered the area that um, is the cloud. Whoops. All right. Now that that's covered, I'm going to um, click off layer two. I'm going to take my magic wand and I'm going to select the area. I'm going to go back up to layer two, click on again, and use my famous invert selection tool and hit delete. And now the girls are inside the cloud. Isn't that great? So let's take a look at the next slide. Now that we've got that, we might want to add some text. So again, I'm adding a layer. Um, I've used my eyedropper to match some of the colors, and I'm going to add the text in a purple. I selected Century Gothic 28, and I'm just going to start typing. Okay, my first name I'm going to add is Jenna. You can make sure it's bold if you want to make it a little bigger or you want to move it around. Um, feel free. Uh, you can see uh, I have a place, I found a place for pretty much all the girls' names on each one of the bicycles, and I'll show you how that looks. So I've added Chris, Sarah, and Bonnie also. And finally, um, I love this cloud. So in this case, what I did was add a new layer and write Go Team. What a great memory. Um, and you can use it uh, lots of different ways. I've just done a basic, saved it and did a basic repeat. Uh, if you want to have fun, uh, use it as a scrapbooking page. You can go File New, 150 DPI, 12 by 12. Hit OK, and then auto-fill the same design and have a scrapbooking page. Have fun. Make it into fabric. Um, be creative with hobby time. There's lots of wonderful images. And send us some um, photos of the graphics that you create and the projects that you make. Till next time, have fun.